Hi, I'm Monty the Software Engineer, and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can use Firebase Database within your Qt application using just the REST API. If you're unfamiliar with what Firebase is, it's essentially the Google version of AWS, so it has a lot of different cloud services and applications that you can integrate with your applications. It's primarily meant to be used for mobile applications on Android and iOS, but because it's so easy to set up and use with Qt using the uh, REST API, I like to use it for uh, different proof of concepts whenever I need to spin up a quick database. So to get started, first you're going to need to log into your Google account um, and then go to firebase.google.com, hit go to console, then we can create a project, enter your project, so I'll say Qt Firebase integration example, and I'll hit continue, continue, configure Google Analytics. I'll just say default account, create project, and then it will start creating the project. Now, once the project has finished, we'll hit continue. Let's go to the real time database and then hit create database. Uh, here you can set the location of your database. Uh, since I'm in the US, I'll just hit US Central 1 next, and I'll start it in test mode. That way I don't have to set up any rules. All right, and here we have our database. So let's add some uh, different entries that we can read from our application. So first I'll add a pets entry, and then I'll add just a one, and then I'll say name is Monty add that and then under one I'll add another entry I'll say type and dog add and then I'll add one more entry food and we'll write blue buffalo now let's add one more pet and we'll say two and then under this we'll say name grant we'll add and then let's add type cat and one more food uh, we'll say generic kibble add and now we have our database under the pets entry we have uh, one pet here and then a second pet here so let's go ahead and cute I'll go ahead and create a new application since I won't really be uh, implementing any sort of UI and this is just an example I'll just go ahead and use the cute console application and here I'll name it Firebase database example next and finish all right so since we're going to be using the network access manager uh, we'll go to our project file and then we'll enter in Qt plus equal network we'll save it let's go ahead and run qmake and then let's add a new c++ class and we'll call this database handler we'll inherit q object and now let's go to the header file and add in our q network access manager we'll also need a q network reply now let's add some private members q network access manager and we'll call this M network manager let's also add a Q network reply and we'll call that M network reply all right now let's go to our C++ and then here let's have our M network manager equals a new instance of Q network access manager and we will give the parent is this object uh, now, since we've given this new instance here, this as the parent, M Network Manager is now a child of whatever instance we have of database handler. So whenever database handler is removed, uh, all the children in its tree will also get removed. That's one of the good things of Qt's uh, parent-child relationship. But uh, just for good coding practice, we will add a destructor here, Q database handler. And then we'll add that into our C++ class. And then let's say M network manager dot delete later. So if we look at the Firebase database REST API, we can see here all we need to do is perform a get request on the uh, specific URL of our database. 
and we should get a JSON object back. So if we look at our real-time database, we can see here that this is the uh, URL of our real-time database. So I'll go ahead and copy this to our clipboard. And then let's go ahead and add a couple includes that we'll need. Q network request. And then we'll also add Q debug in here. And now let's say our M network reply is equal to M network manager dot get. And then we'll put a Q network request here. A Q URL. And then that URL that we copied that points to our database. Now, if we go back to the uh, Firebase database REST API here, we can see that we also want to add uh, the name of the entry.json that we want. So if we go here, we can see that we want to read the pets entry and all the children associated with it. So in our cute code, we're going to add here pets.json. Now we're going to need to add a slot here. So public slots, and then we'll say void network reply ready read and then let's go ahead and add this to our database handler and then let's just do a q debug on m network reply dot read all and then here let's add a connection so connect m network reply and we'll say q network reply the signal is ready read and we'll connect that to this and and database handler. The slot is going to be network reply ready read. And now let's go to our main.cpp. Let's include our database handler and then add an instance of it. Database handler and we'll just call this db handler. And now let's run this and see what happens. So we can see here in our application output, we have the one, the food is blue buffalo, name is Monty, type is a dog, and then we also have two, and under that we have food is generic kibble, name is Grant, and type is cat. So we can see that our get request performed successfully and we were able to read uh, the entries within our real-time database. Um, with the get request, you can also go deeper down. So if I just wanted the one entry here, I can go to the database handler, and then I can edit this and do, instead of just pets.json, I can do one. So pets, then one.json. So let's run that. And now we can see we're just grabbing that one entry. So food, blue buffalo, name Monty, type dog. And then we can even go deeper down. So let's say two and name. And that should give us grant. So let's run that. And now we can see uh, it's printing out just grant. Let's see if I can make this a little bigger. All right, now that that's uh, a little bigger, let me just sh show you one more time what happens if we just grab the pets.json and that should return everything within our pets entry. So there we can see all the entries. Now let's go over how we can use the post request to add data to our uh, database. So I'll just comment this out. And since the database uh, expects a JSON document, uh, Qt has some built-in classes that will help us out here. Qt JSON document, then we'll use a Q variant map. All right, so let's say we want to add another pet. We'll say Q variant map, and we'll say new pet, and then new pet. We'll say type is equal to dog, new pet, name is equal to mercy, and then new pet, food, we'll say chicken. So now let's create a JSON document, Q JSON document, and we'll call it just JSON doc equals QJSON document from variant and we'll pass it the new pet. And now let's create a new network request, so Q network request, and we'll just call it new pet request. 
and we'll pass it the Q URL of the pets database. So let's go ahead and copy this and put it in here. And then we're going to have to set the header on the new pet requests dot set header. And this will Q and this will be Q network request content type header and the type is going to be a Q string application JSON and now we'll just have our M network manager perform a post request with the new pet request and then our JSON doc dot to JSON now if we run this and go back to our database after it runs all right we can see here it's added this new entry here food is chicken name is mercy type is dog so say we wanted to actually change some of the elements in our database so under two if we want to change all this let's see how we can do that uh, using put so here let's just name this to elephant we'll say dumbo and food is peanuts. So if we want to edit the uh, two entry, we'll add two over here, two.json. And then instead of a post, we'll do put. And that should replace our two with our new pet. So let's go ahead and run that. All right, so it's run. Let's go back to our database. And here we can see that the entries for uh, Grant the Cat has been now uh, change to Dumbo the elephant that eats peanuts. So that's how to quickly use a Firebase real-time database with your Qt application using just the REST API. So I wanted to make a quick video on how to do this uh, because in my next video I'm planning on starting another series where I mock up a UI and then develop the application in uh, QML. And for that application I had the idea of using uh, a database in the back end to store data and I wanted to have a video to reference if you didn't know how to use that.